Shut up and sit down. Here we are on Chikra, back after the lockdown, and there's fish rising everywhere. So we're going to have a little go at the dries today. You can see them so close to the bank here, they're just intercepting these little buzzers that are coming off. So we're going to give them a little buzzer imitation in the shape of uh, little hairs here, Colm. Little size 14 hairs here, Colm. One of my favourite little emerger patterns. We've got uh, about uh, an eight foot litre of uh, six pound fluorocarbon leading to a floating line. And all I'm going to do here is just with this stuff, it's a little bit of fuller's earth that I mixed up earlier. We're just going to degrease that top cover of feet. And that's just going to make that fluorocarbon sink. And we want it to get down below the surface. So we started off nice and back from the, from the edge here. And just check that fly. That's sitting up lovely. I'm just going to take a couple of yards off. A really long cast here. Nice short cast. Let's see what happens here. Something pops his head up. Oof. Look at that. Just rolled at it. Let me take it right. Now we're ready. That's sitting up there nicely. That little bit of ripple just disguises everything for us. It's a lovely bit of a breeze. Little buzzers coming off everywhere. As soon as these fish come up and take that, I'm just gonna lift into them. Just hope that sunshine keeps off for a little while longer. Nice strong breeze it, blowing that back at me. Got it. Look at that. Oh, he's off. He's off. Get the hook hub we wanted. Just check that hook. Instant. That looks alright. He didn't hang around, did he? There you go. Same again. You don't want to move the fly at all, just keep up with it as he's getting blown back towards me. Little to no movement at all on that fly. These fish are just taking these buzzers as they emerge. There's one just there. Nice to be back out in the water after the break, that's for sure. We all uh, were going a bit stir crazy there for a while. Let's keep them moving about. Swirling fish, just trying to cover them. I'm right on the mirror tip there. Look. They come so close in these fish at Chipper. They come right up these uh, margins, just intercepting these it's weed beds up here, and they're just getting these coming up the other side of the weed beds.
Got him. Lovely take that was. Lovely head and tail. Look at them go. Look at that. Great spot. Nice to be back. Haven't forgotten how to do it. They should be up these edges for the rest of the afternoon now, as long as that sun stays in. I'm not saying it's about time of the afternoon now. We're it's good fish. <laughs> oh, they go on this light gear. It's just a five weight rod, this one. Perfect for this sort of sport. Cracking fish, cracking fish, look at that. Wonderful. Hook nicely in the scissors. And back we go. Good stuff, good stuff. Lovely little take that. Lovely little shh, just come up and popped it. Lovely, 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 lovely. Cracking tape that. Super fish. It really a big super fish. Together now. Yeah, lovely even. Just like that. Why oh, don't we have shallows? Beautiful, beautiful tape. It's not happy either. On these shallows, cracking fighting fish. Look at that, he's going to get out this one. 
lovely, lovely. It's turning into a beautiful evening. Look at all these fish here, it's ridiculous. All up this edge and these buzzers. Alright, so I've had a few refusals, uh, so I've actually decided to go to a bigger fly. You can go bigger or smaller and just decided to try something a bit bigger. So I've gone up to a size 12 and merger. Um, still in the hairs here, but a little bit more of a mouthful, see if we can get a bit more of a positive reaction from these fish. And the sun's come out, but hopefully that won't kill it. Sweet as a nut, look at that. Beautiful tape. Well, maybe that was the answer. Just close to the water. Lovely on this light gear. See, even in the sunshine, doesn't mean you can't catch them on the drives in the sunshine. It's not the end of it. It's not the end. Just keep trying. I think it's going to cloud over again in a minute in here. Let's get that up. Here you come. That's it, try that off again, degrease again, keep going through the motions. Got a few more fish yet. Look at them. You can see the buzzer, when that goes flat calm, you can just see the size of the buzzer. Look at that, straight away. Boom. He's on it. Look at that, didn't even get that in the water. Oh, he's off. Vary the length of time we put the flies down on the surface for, depending on the sort of mood of the fish. And there's plenty of moving fish to, to target, and you've got a decent ripple and a nice bit of overcast like this. I do like to flick them around a bit and try a spot here and a spot there and cover the fish where I can. Don't leave them on the water for too long, maybe 10 seconds at most. And you get a flat calm, um, bright sunshine, overcast makes no difference. You've got a flat calm, you can afford to pop the flies out there and leave them for a long time and that often can work as long as you get that leader the leader to sink it's horses for courses really Perfect. 